What happens if you kick a boxer? Recently I made a video where I boxed a boxer and that didn't go super well for me being not a boxer. He was able to control the ring pretty much exactly how I wanted to, but it made me curious. What if I was allowed to kick? Would I be able to change the range, the timing, the speed of the fight? Or would he be able to get in and smother me? Well, you know I had to have this question answered, so I asked Lucas from Jawbreaker Boxing if he would let me spar, but I kick. Okay, first things first, let's talk about some of the key points that we took away from round one of the boxing only sparring, so we can compare it to what happens when you kick. While we were able to catch him early with the chubby surprise, it didn't stay that way for long. He very quickly got used to sitting down on his back leg and negating my length because he could just kind of sit back and use that head movement. Now, very important takeaway, watch how low his head gets on either side. Just remember that. Fast forwards a few days, first round of the kicking round. I wanted to start off by really creating distance. And our first takeaway comes early. <laughs> There's a reason the kickboxers don't wear the, the, the middle girdle piece. Now, as we start off, I don't want to throw really hard kicks because of the head movement in boxing and the lack of knowledge on checking. I'm not trying to hurt him. This is his professional job is to coach people like me that suck. Touching with the sidekick, pushing him away a little bit, and letting him know that even though he's that close, I can still land something. At this point, I want my kicks to be obvious for safety purposes, but also so he knows that I'm controlling the range. Although he did something really interesting there. I threw a lazy stay over there kick. He timed backwards and waited for me to plant and then came in, which is smart because that's what he's gonna have to do. He's gonna have to wait until that thread is gone to get in. Good adjustment. What's about to happen is the first indicator of not knowing how to deal with kicks. It's that duck right there. And just like that, he pull countered a side kick, which is wild. Very good movement by him so far. But now, as you can see, my hands are starting to get a little bit closer because he's worried about different things. His movements are becoming more exaggerated because the range is, ooh, the range is different. What he once thought was out of range is right at the end of my kicks. Now granted, I'm a little bit bigger than he is, so, you know, that changes things too, obviously. You can see I'm heavy on my front foot here. I'm trying to lull him into what I think is striking range. Ooh, a little doubled up on that kick. And good timing there to follow through. And then to finish off the round, we get a taste of something he definitely hasn't seen before. He timed the spin, finishing well, but I guess he assumed that I wasn't balanced because I had just spun. Go reach! Right. This is such a different aspect. It's crazy, huh? Honestly, you were doing a good job of staying out of that ring. <laughs> That's what they say in Boston is. This is a good coach, I'm going to tell you. All the way in, all the way out. Yeah, either one. Now, it would make sense that you put the thing that's in the least amount of danger closest to your opponent. In boxing, it's your lead leg. You know, what are you going to do? Punch it? Take a look at his lead leg right here. Wide open. Let's see what we can do about that. Now, we can see right off the bat that he's starting to use a bouncier movement. He's trying to get in and out. And one way to negate that is a leg kick or a head kick, I guess. Nobody wants to bounce into a head kick. Another leg kick, watch this right here. That's not abnormal for somebody who doesn't know how to check leg kicks. Lucas is a great fighter. That doesn't necessarily mean he needs to know how to check leg kicks. So that's what we're gonna utilize and exploit. <laughs> Now, almost immediately, you see Lucas start to pick up a blitzing method, which is what happens in point karate. Whenever kicks are involved, you start to have to have a method of explosion to cover that range. And at this point, we hadn't thrown a kick for a little bit, so the perceived range changes. He's getting a little bit taller on those punches now. He almost wants to come over top, it seems like, rather than sit low, because if he sits low, his leg is more bent, which means it's closer to me. But as I'm watching this, something really interesting happens. I'm ortho, he's ortho, but I'm bladed. So he knows that he can get bladed too, 
because my right leg is not going to kick his lead leg. I'm not going to turn all the way over and kick his hamstring right here. So he has to be more weary of closing the distance and getting behind that side kick right there. Now, Lucas is a great boxer though. He does a great job of picking up patterns and seeing when my feet are too close together and then coming in. However, it's time to amp up the leg kicks a little bit. Not putting a ton behind them, but just want him to know that they're there. Because if he knows that they're there, he'll have to think about it. Now, if you haven't seen it yet, this would be a good time for me to recommend you go watch the boxing video so you can see Lucas piece me up. I don't want you to think that I'm just bagging on him because he doesn't know how to check leg kicks. Like, it's not his job. Oh, that was not good timing by me. Lucas now getting the idea to try and catch the kicks. Very interesting that he's going with like a Muay Thai approach. It seems like he's just kind of weighing his options, you know? He's working on the blitz, he's working on maybe catching or checking. He's working on ways to negate my kick. Now, one of the ways you can do that, and I think he did it without realizing it, it's a little bit riskier though, is parrying the kick. He did it with his tricep there, and then was in range. Watch my right hand here, super secret move. I, I went to punch his leg. I guess it wasn't that good. Anyway, one of the things that I thought was super interesting, oh, I remember hitting him with the heel and that side kick. That was my bad. Now, if you had watched our first bar by now, you would have seen that he pieced me up the first time. This time, he said that I had hit him in the headway more with punches, which is funny because the whole addition was kicks. But it makes sense. The more that you have to think about, the more that you have to defend. The more that you have to defend, the less you think about offense. Essentially, the more players that you add to the game, the more difficult it becomes to work on a specialty, which is what boxing is. It now already I've mentioned that he gets kind of point karate-ish with this movement and then he got Muay Thai with the checks. Now look at this, he's trying to clinch me up. <laughs> what he said there was, I forgot that you were bigger than me, for lack of better words. Oh, see that right there is big, that's what I need. Lucas does something awesome here which is show that he's not afraid of the kick, however, Sometimes a little bit of fear is okay. One more. I just love the experience. And I'm even more tired than... Man, we were just boxing? Yeah. I just pray. Well, you're so fast. That aspect, right. Yeah. Now, for this last round, I'm going to let it play through a little bit more. Mostly, I want to say thank you to Lucas. It takes a lot of guts to come in there and do something you're not used to, and especially on camera. Kudos to you, Lucas. Appreciate you. And now it's time to answer the question, what happens if you kick a boxer? First and foremost, we notice that the range changed. Obviously, right? A longer weapon needs longer range. Next, we notice that checking kicks is a big asset when kicks are being thrown, which changes the way you think defensively. If there's something coming at you that you don't know how to block, you have to move more. You have to move more, you get more tired. And you stop thinking about other threats that were originally involved, like the hands. One really interesting thing about kicks compared to punches is they come from completely different angles. One is up to down, the other is down to up. Kicks come from an angle that's really difficult to see. Our hands are right in front of us, they're there all the time. How often do you look at your feet? How often do you look at somebody else's feet? Actually, you know what, some of you don't answer that. Y'all are nasty. Now, it's not all positive, though. There was plenty of times that I noticed by kicking, I was leaving myself more open to the punches, which he was really good at. He was good at finding the timing, figuring out when my feet were too close together, and utilizing my time of being on one foot to make his strikes. You don't want to necessarily always give up something defensively, and especially when your partner is so good at filling that gap offensively. I know it's coming up, I still... 
Because the lack of knee, yeah. so that one and the second head one. Yeah. Well, I guess both the head ones, but the second one, I didn't see the first one. I at least saw. That's the that's the tough part with this boxing headgear. Is it covers right, up yeah. everything like way out here. Right. Um. But nine, ninety nine percent of boxers are gonna get chewed up on the legs. Yeah. You did a good job. I just I, what was crazy is like when we were just boxing. Like even your size advantage is like, that's fine. He's not really sitting on anything. I just yeah. walk right up. Yeah. Just to touch, put something together, start to divide. Right. But then sometimes it's like, nah, just the leg kicks to ask, but that's why I came in, I had to. Yeah, you had go to. Go at a faster bit. There was no me getting to you. Just yeah. Tired. <laughs> Which means there were also no feints. Like, I did a better job of blocking that time. Yeah. Because you were further Because I couldn't feint as much. The feint was the movement in. Right. But you still see it. Yeah, yeah. I can see everything. Because you were way out here, which is where. Like, I'm yeah. definitely used to. Exactly, I noticed you didn't move half as much. No. You should be like, okay, like, I, mean, I got the heavyweight gas tank, he's got a lightweight. Yeah. So let me just chill. Yeah. So that's my lead leg. That's right. <laughs> that was really cool, man. Yeah, man, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, for sure. My boy Luke is a jawbreaker boxing. Make sure you guys come down here. Jawbreaker boxing. Learn 14, how to box. I can, I can tell you that I'm going to be, you know, because you can't just kick all the time. <laughs> right. Get them hands right. Get them In conclusion, it changes everything which is pretty much gonna be the case for anything that you add on to a style. Like for example, if you punch a wrestler, it's gonna change things. Hmm, that'd be a good video. Now, granted, before you guys go, oh, it, like this is literally his livelihood, it's, it's boxing, <laughs> like the sport of boxing. So it would make sense that he doesn't like check kicks right. because why, why, why would he? That was our right? first time ever experiencing that. That's what really and, and honestly, hey. That takes a lot of ball. Appreciate it. Um, do you want to do the honor? Do you want to subscriber? You'll punch him, or subscriber? You'll kick him. <laughs> hit, hit him with a kick. Let's see it. Subscriber, I'll kick him. Bang! That was actually really good. <laughs> what the heck?